I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent questions. I hope the solution of this will help many others. The question here is, sketch the graph of polynomial function with given zeros, then write equation of the function. Zeros at minus 3 order 2, minus 1 order 3. 0 0.05 and f of 0 equals to 18. So the information given is something like this f of 0 equals to 18. That is the y intercept, correct? Then these zeros, when I say 0 at minus 3 order 2, it really means that the factor is x plus 3. That will give you 0 at minus 3. Order 2 means square it. 0 at minus 1 means x plus 1, order 3 means cubic. 0 at 0.5 or half means the factor is 2x minus 1. This is going to be 0 at 0.5. It's a linear 0 since nothing is mentioned here. So those are your zeros. From the zeros, we actually get the degree. So degree is 2 plus 3 plus 1, which is 6. So we have even degree, right? Even degree means both same sides. Okay. So based on this, we can actually graph the function. Okay. So let's say this is your y-axis. So let's write down the zero y-intercept first. Let's say this is the y-intercept 18. Now we are saying on the right side we have one at half let's say this is half then we have zero at uh, minus one and at minus three so let's say this is uh, minus one and this is minus three now the zero at half is linear so from the y-intercept it is going straight down right so from the y-intercept the graph actually goes straight down now, since we have even degree, means both same side, that means it has to begin from somewhere here, right? So that is how it is going to be. So let's look into these two zeros now. So at minus 1, order 3, means it will come down and then move like a cubic function, kind of like this. So it will not go like a linear function, but like a cubic function. And at minus 3, it is going to turn like a parabola. Now connecting these points, we actually get our graph. Do you see that? So that is how the graph is going to be. As you can see, it will have a leading coefficient which is negative. So I can write my function f of x as negative. Some value of a which we can calculate using the y-intercept and these factors, which are x plus 3 whole square times x plus 1 cube times 2x minus 1. Since f of 0 is 18, we can write this as 18 equals to minus a, 3 square times 1 square times minus 1 square, right? Now that is 9, right? So we have 18 equals to minus now this negative becomes, uh, there's no square here, sorry. 2x minus 1 is just minus 1. So, so this negative makes it positive. So 3 squared is 9, we get 9a. Or 18 over minus 9 gives the value of a, which is equal to, sorry, this minus and minus makes it positive. So it is positive. We already took minus outside. So... 18 over 9 gives us 2. So the value of a is 2. So that gives you the function f of x as equal to minus 2 x plus 3 whole square times x plus 1 whole cube times 2x minus 1. Okay. So that becomes the equation of the function. So we have clearly sketched the function. If you use the scale be much better however it gives you a fairly good idea of how the polynomial graph will look like 
and the equation of this graph is with leading coefficient negative indicating that both sides are facing downwards ends so i hope this is absolutely clear feel free to write your comments and share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that'll be great thanks for watching and all the best